Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Angel Franco and I'm an undergraduate architecture student at UNCC. And this is my architecture final review project presentation. Before getting started, I would like to go over these key terms. Symmetry, asymmetry, pattern, and infinity are some key terms that I believe go hand in hand with my work and often pop up when coming to some design and stylistic choices of my project. To start off, here are some contour hand drawings that I made before actually starting anything physical. As you can see, each hand is different and each hand has a different medium, whether it's pen or pencil. Each hand was meant to truly act like a hand with the bends of each finger, almost giving it that joint real finger feeling, while others were more abstract. Following this, I decided to choose the more one of the most interesting uh, drawings to me and convert it into a wire hand. After converted in, converting it into a wire hand, I then was tasked with hanging up the hand and casting a shadow upon it and taking a picture. Because after this, I would go on to draw the shadow and the hand itself. Following this, I input the pictures and the drawings of the hands into Illustrator and I was tasked with cutting it out and sectioning it in order to truly understand the proportions of the hand After this I decided to draw some corner studies as we were then tasked with uh, Messing around and creating physical corners The reason I decided to draw the corners beforehand was so I could at least have an idea of what I was doing after that, I went on Rhino and created a physical bounding box model uh, that I would go on to later create. After uh, creating the bounding box on Rhino, I made a step-by-step -step pro process uh, to facilitate uh, the, the creation of the box for me so I wouldn't just go through and make stuff up as I went along. I then created some sectional drawings in order to help me understand and navigate the ideas of cladding. From then I went on to add cladding onto the Rhino model as a draft or sketch um, before I went on to do anything to the physical model itself. As you can see there are some cladding on the sides which I ended up opting out for simply due to the fact that it wouldn't really do anything for the box itself. After this, I decided to um, create a digital space for the box itself. As you can see, there is a hole behind the box and the reasoning for this is because there was supposed to be a light emanating from behind the box, casting a shadow upon the wall parallel to the box. And the reason why I decided to make the stand floating was to give it that modern, abstract look. I then went on to uh, create the physical box and uh, add the cladding and insert the, the wire hand and uh, add a, a source of light in order to take the pictures for it. As you can see from the four, first four pictures, those first four pictures were meant to show you the overall look of the hand and the box itself. However, after this, I decided to make the pictures black and white in order to highlight the focus that I thought was most important and the piece that shined out most uh, than the rest of the work. The wire hand and the placement. The reason why I believed that the wire hand and the placement of the wire hand itself shined uh, more than the rest of the uh, piece itself is simply due to the fact that the hand was supposed to be encased by the bounding box. However, the stylistic approach that I took for this was uh, in order for the bounding box to, yes, encase the hand, wire hand itself, but also allow the wire hand to almost have a sense of reaching out of the box and not being able to be encased. That is the end of my presentation and I hope you have a wonderful day.